guys, I'm doing a review on the Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Concealer and it's supposed to last for 16 hours. So I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart and it only cost about $3. Um, so that's why I thought I would give it a try even though I'm not completely finished my NYX concealer yet but I thought for $3 you can't really go wrong. So it has a really thin and creamy consistency and I wouldn't call it a full coverage concealer at all. It's just more kind of gives you a light sheerness over top of whatever you're trying to cover. So I would say it's more a brightening concealer and it'll just kind of cover the areas that you want to make them a little bit more brighter but because of the thin consistency it's not really going to completely cover all your dark blemishes or dark circles under your eyes. It's just going to add a little brightening effect to it while just giving giving it a sheer coverage. And because it is so thin, I mean it doesn't cake on, but I still think it wouldn't really be good to cover actual pimples. Um, you would still clearly see where the pimple is, um, just because it has such a thin consistency. But I found that it is quite good over like just red marks or a kind of if you have a little bit of pale acne scarring. I have a couple of scars that you can still see even if though I've covered it with this now. I have a bright light in front of me so it could wash it out but kind of right here and then there's one right here and yeah. Um, so under my eyes this isn't the best. Um, I do have dark under eye circles which I say in all of my concealer videos. Um, so it doesn't work too well. Again, this is a really bright light, so it's hiding my circles well. But kind of looking in regular daylight compared to my NYX concealer or other ones that I have used, it just doesn't cover it as well. Um, so it does brighten it because it reflects the light, but if you have really dark under eye circles, it just doesn't work doesn't cover it completely. Now the packaging I'm not a fan of. Um, it is just kind of the lip gloss tube and then it has a little doe foot applicator top which again it's okay for under eye circles but if I was actually gonna put this on like a pimple it's just so unsanitary you're gonna get you know bacteria in this so then in that case I would put it on my hand and then take it from my hand to put on the pimple or on a different brush that you're gonna wash um, with me I just put dabs under my eyes and then I put just kind of a dab um, on either side of my nose because that gets really red and then I'll just cover up kind of any problem areas um, and then I blend it in with my finger um, but you can also use just a regular brush I wouldn't um, recommend using this brush. I just don't think it would work that well. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo on my hand. There's a little bit of redness here. That was I swatched my lipstick and then rubbed it off and then you can see my purple vein. <laughs> I have very veiny hands. Um, so I'm going to just kind of dab it on there and then dab it on the purple so you can see that and then I'm just going to try to blend it in a bit. And I'm just doing it really lightly. So now it's kind of blended in and you can see the redness, like you, can, you can't even see where that red lipstick was anymore. Um, but you can still see my vein. So that's kind of just to demonstrate that it would cover um, your redness on your face or brightens that area. But again, with the vein or your dark circles under your eyes, it doesn't do it that much. It definitely reflects the light and it looks brighter and a bit shinier. Um, and then you would cover it with like a matte powder but yeah, you can still see that vein and you can still see the dark under eye circles. Now I didn't notice any creasing underneath my eyes, so that's good. Um, kind of all day, no creasing. I wouldn't say it lasts 16 hours. I would say maybe eight hours, six, seven, eight hours. Um, but usually if I have such a long day, I either don't care or then if I'm gonna go out again, I'm, I'll reapply it anyways. Um, I think this would be good if you already have your own concealer in the morning, the one that you like the best, and then before you go out again, if you're going out in the evening, you just want to freshen up um, and freshen up your face. And I would say I would use this just because it's so thin. It's not like you're, if you don't want to completely take all your makeup off and then reapply it, you're not caking on another really thick layer. It's just really thin and smoothing and it brightens it a little bit. Um, so in that aspect, I'm going to keep this and keep using it. Um, but 
just using it as my sole concealer, my thing that I put on first thing in the morning, it just, it doesn't work that well. Um, now it comes in two shades. This one is shade 20. This is soft beige. And then it also comes in natural beige. So the natural beige is a little bit more yellow tinted and then this one is a bit more pink tinted. So that's why I went with this one. Um, so overall, I, I wouldn't purchase this again. I will use this up, like I said, kind of as a afternoon or evening refresher to my makeup if I need it. But for $3, you can't do too much damage. So that's kind of nice that it's not like I spent $30 on an item that I won't really like that much. Um, I'd recommend it if you don't need a lot of concealer, if you're looking for something just to kind of brighten up your area, but you're either, you're not a concealer user currently, or then you just wear, again, like a really thin, thin consistency. Um, so then I would recommend it, but if you need a heavy coverage concealer, then it's, it's not the best. <laughs> All right, that is my review. Hopefully this was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.